All right, guys, we're back here at VCD. We got Morris, we got Lewis doing all the install work. Well, actually, Morris doing most of the install work while Lewis just kind of chills and watches us here. <laughs> Anywho, like I told you guys in that review video, we were gonna try and get the Spoon Sport steel braided brake lines as soon as possible. And I had Lewis over here recording it, but he was having some trouble. Oh, it's yeah. been a long day for him. So your boy's gonna step in. We're gonna go ahead and install the Spoon Sport steel braided brake lines for the front and rear of the car. We're also gonna install the clutch slave hose and we're gonna top that off with some RB660. We're gonna actually drain the entire system of the car and we're gonna re-bleed it with this good stuff. If we get a chance, we're gonna try and sneak these two, well actually this part in. But we also got from our boys over at Siri Moto who are sponsoring us and helping us out with the car they've hooked us up with this n1 dampener delete and if you haven't caught the video that was on the vcd channel go on and jump on that and watch this video it's going to give you guys the complete explanation of what this item does we're really not going to get too deep into it because we've already filmed the video for the integra it's going to be the same process that's going to go on the fl5 it's actually the same kind of setup anywho like i was saying <laughs> Sirimoto sent this over. We're not gonna go into the details of filming it for the FL5 since we already did it to the DE5, AKA the Integra. We're just gonna do it since we're already bleeding the system. We're gonna give that a try. And our boy Morris already got started as usual because this is what he loves to do. He just loves to just jump ahead. Forget about the video. He don't care, am I right? I got work to do. Yep, it's just all work. We got Lewis on the other side. It's just, I don't know today, guys. It's been a long day for these guys over here at VCD. They're graciously doing this install for us. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. I brought the FK8 OEM one so we can compare them to the FL5's one. That way we have a actual comparison of what the differences are and what it's gonna be different compared to the Spoon Sport ones to the FK8 and the FL5s. All right, guys, we're gonna check out the OEM FL5 brake line compared to the OEM FK8 brake line. And we got our demonstrator here that's gonna show us what the differences are, if any, guys. My guess is it's gonna be the same. Oh, no, there's a, there's a, a link difference. A little bit different, huh, on the link? Yeah, slightly shorter. The uh, the FL5 ones, right? For the front? The FL5 one is shorter. I think the only main difference is that this isn't gonna heat up as much. We're starting on this side now with the spoon uh, upgraded brake lights. So what we're gonna do right now is remove the hard line from the brake caliper to the valve body. So what we're gonna use instead, it's called like a crow's foot. So basically it's an open end kind of wrench. We're gonna insert this Morris is gonna apply some pressure under so we don't bend the line downwards and break it. So let's, let's do this right now really quick. This one's gonna go up, so you need to go downwards. So I'm gonna be pressing against up, you see? So if you see when I... Uh, yeah, so if you guys see, when I push up, this whole thing goes up. So you need to push down. So, so I'm gonna insert up the top one right here so we can break this. And then Morris, can you apply pressure against the screw in the hard line? You guys hear that? That's good. They really did not want us to take these off. Huh? Yeah, they do. Well, if you see, I'm pretty sure that's Loctite. But that, or they're just basically marking that they're, they're on tight. But okay, this side is all loosened up. We're gonna run over to the other side. And then you have to remove, to remove the line itself, you're gonna break this loose up here, which, which is the hard line to the brake master cylinder. And then you're gonna break the hard line from here to this position. We we'll remove the hard line for the brake caliper to the valve body, and then you're gonna remove this 12, remove this C clip up here, and that's basically the whole line's gonna come out. You are gonna lose a lot of fluid. Be aware that you have to pretty much bleed the entire brake system out when you do this. This car's gonna get a full flush, and we're gonna use Moto 660 for the for the, the whole process. We're picking up here in the front, like Lewis and Morris were both kind of giving us a little overview of how and what you need to break the bolts in order to loosen up the brake lines. And remember, you don't wanna mess this one up, huh? 
You really do not, because I don't know if you can just readily go and buy these parts. Especially if you just bought these six hundred dollar bridges. Six hundred dollars. How much were they? I don't know. You bought them. Lewis sponsored the vehicle, so I don't know. I don't get the bill for that one. What? <laughs> Swipe it. We want to show this first. So there's like a little slot that the brake line actually has. The actual brake line itself will slide into it and bolt on. So there's a hole for a bolt, and then there's like a little pin that you're supposed to slide the actual brake line onto. That little. This piece right, right, right where yeah. my fingers on. Mm -hmm. So this section right here, you're gonna slide it into that little pin. This is where the bolt goes to hold it. And this is your feed line to the actual brake caliper itself. So I'll put that in first. So like I said, you'll slide in the pin. You gotta go at an angle. You'll slide it in, you'll know it's in. And then you can reconnect this hard line. You wanna be careful with this as well, right? Uh, yeah, line. so if you put it this way, you'll be hitting um, the actual, I guess, ABS sensor. sensor itself, the wire. But I mean, obviously you wanna put it back out it came and be sure that these screw in nice and easy because you can't strip them if you're not careful but it's it's pretty simple i mean spoon does a great job of all the measurements in here of taking care of all the mounting points and everything you got enough travel as, you, as i'm gonna call it enough travel for the wheels to turn back and forth because that's the other thing you want to make sure that there's no like tension points right on the line itself yeah i mean that's big, your biggest concern is it getting caught um you can, you can rip up. these brake lines it's it's this covering and then it's a stainless steel line that could actually rip and tear yeah that's pretty simple morris already took care of the side you connect your 12 volt as well there's one for this um, valve body i guess if you want to call it that or the brake caliper yeah. The guys have already installed the brake line, as you guys can see. It's pretty simple. Like I said a moment ago, just make sure that you're doing this with time and you're doing it right with the right tools. Lewis is about to go ahead and torque everything up. All right, guys, so we're using the, what did you call it, crow's foot? Not a crow's foot. Yeah. That we started off with to just finish up tightening everything up. I just finished the bottom one and I'm just gonna double check this upper one next and I think we should be fine. All right. He doesn't want to talk on camera anymore because we criticize him. Well, he I don't says, get paid enough to do that. You don't get paid at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on to the rear passenger side. We've already gone ahead and loosened up the flange nut here that's connected to the hard wire hard line, hard line. we're gonna just remove this line here okay so there is two copper washers for the brake caliper so now we pop that off we remove the 12 that's holding the actual line to the frame we're gonna let this drip out not trying to get anything on the brake caliper because this is painted it will destroy the paint all right guys we just took off the fl5s passenger rear brake line and I'm just gonna kind of give it a little comparison between the OEM FK8 brake line and as you can tell as best I can kind of show you guys here there is a difference the mounting point is different as you can tell here and the length of it is going to be different it's just slightly longer I would say by what maybe about two inches, inch and a half, give or take. But yeah, that's gonna be the difference in length here. Mounting points are gonna be different. Kinda of the flares or whatever these are where the hard line goes in, it's pretty much the same. But yeah, there is a big difference in the length to the rear ones. The front ones were a little less obvious, but the rear ones are, are totally obvious. All right guys, we've gone ahead and completed the rear brake lines as you can see the guys did a great job here everything's nice and tightened up like i said this was pretty simple back here there there isn't too much going on you know like we told you guys make sure you use the right tools for these particular items that way you guys don't damage or 
strip anything while you're doing it. But yeah, these look great. <laughs> Pedal feel will be a lot better once we get the system bled. But now we're moving on to the clutch slave line. All right, boys, sorry to leave you guys out on a cliffhanger like this, but we decided to make this installation a three-part series. We went ahead and finished up the steel braided brake lines. We're gonna follow up on the next video with the clutch slave line, the N1 dampener delete by Sirimoto. And then our third video is gonna finish up the installation with the Spoon Sports throttle body. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button so you know when we're gonna post again, and make sure you smash the like button. We'll catch you guys out on the next video.